Good morning. Uh, welcome to um, Verity Solutions uh, training uh, videos series. This is uh, the SAP MM training video. Today we're going to be teaching how to create uh, Material Master. Um, the transaction to create Material Master is MM01. Um, I'm going to show you in a second. Um, MM01 is to create a material. So you go into the easy transaction um, place and then type in MM01 you will get into the create materials and if you just want to view and change a material you type in MM02 and you can um, type in a material um, select views um, and then you can you can go ahead and change um, the material okay MM02 and then the third transaction is MM03 this is for display only and then you can select these views, the one that you want to view. Right now I'm just selecting all the views um, and I'm just putting my plant and I can view all the tabs in the material master. Each tab is a view in the in the material master. <clears throat> it will show you the material type um, that you have created. This is a semi-finished product the initial screen that you see is the basic data tab <clears throat> here you see the general data such as basic unit of measure it shows the material group it shows any old material number that you might have used um, and any things like gross weight net weight volume um, size dimensions UPC codes weights any generic information. You can also maintain the material text in multiple languages. For this one it has not been maintained yet. Uh, but you know if this material is being used in multiple countries um, you could go ahead and ma maintain descriptions in multiple languages. For large um, companies for example you can see here um, this material has been maintained in multiple uh, languages. You can see all the different languages um, you can maintain. So I'm going to go out to the uh, basic um, data tab again so the more information you fill in it's going to carry through to different um, tabs when you when mit mm uh, when this material is used in different places so material is mm is a central record it will be used in many different uh, places within sap it can be used in mm obviously in fi in qm in pm in pp and in in the EHS module so any of these modules where SAP is used you can go ahead and, uh, and actually um, you know leverage this information in the basic data tab too these are also called views each tab is a view and it will only show up if you have actually created and maintained the information and you can also do an easy drop down right here you can show you um, the, all the tabs that are available for this particular material, you can go ahead and switch those things. I can go to the MRP one tab. I can go ahead and click to uh, accounting one tab. Um, you can all get all get all views. Also, these are tabs. And there is also for every screen there is an additional data tab um, that you can go see. Um, you know things like unit of measure, uh, EAN. Uh, document data and you know inspection text and these are the additional data this is like the third level of data um, that you will find and you can also look at the organizational data this has been uh, this is you looking at uh, plant uh, 1000 this material has been created for plant 1000 so there is a, uh, a basic data and there is additional data and you can also see the organization levels and you can also see the material uh, type this material you know, has been uh, created uh, again if I cl click on the again organization data I just want to look at some basic data and also the uh, purchasing data only look at the two tabs here it's going to ask me for the plan information I click in and I see those two tabs it's also bringing other tabs also um, so that's the display of the material uh, you can also click on this a little um, icon here to navigate to the left and to the navigate to the right and you can also use this uh, small drop down here to can navigate your way around okay so basic one is the basic information about the material uh, basic data two is again an extension of the material in this uh, particular version there has been there is not a lot of information filled in for this material in the purchasing tab you put in the purchasing group 
purchasing group, which purchasing group does this material belong to? Who has the, who is the buyer who has the authority for this particular material to go ahead and procure? This kind of connects the, the buyer to this particular material. And also you can put in the material group, which material group these automatic gears will be part of. In this case it's 001, this is the metal processing. This is mostly for reporting purposes to see how you're buying, how you're spending, which material group is being um, used, um, uh, which material is being mostly procured within your company. And this also has uh, purchasing value queues. In this particular instance, it has not been maintained, but you can maintain, if you do have purchasing value queues, you can maintain things like over delivery tolerances and under delivery you know, tolerances for this particular, particular material. Um, you can also um, do reminders um, like for expediting of this material to the vendors. You can also do how many days you would like, you know, whether to be um, wanted material to be when it will be reminded. You can also um, check on some additional things such as goods receipt processing time. How long does it take to process goods receipt in your company when the truck arrives? Um, and also is it a critical part? What is the manufacturer's part number? Uh, and things like all the useful information that you can use and leverage uh, going forward. And if this particular box automatic PO is checked, then um, this particular material can be used to convert a requisition into a PO automatically by using batch programs. Uh, in this case it is not checked but if you do check it, this material qualifies for a creation of automatic POs from a requisition. It is also called batch management, means this material has to be managed in a batch always. Uh, any, if you have any questions about any of these transactions, you can click on F1. That will tell you what this particular field is. Just highlight the field, press F1, it will give you the, uh, this, the information for that particular field. This indicator can be set in Mitchell Master Record manually. If badges are valued uh, or if badges are valued individually, it is set automatically for the plans concerned, in which case cannot be changed. So this is the batch management, uh, you know, requirement where the metals is managed in, in batches. Okay. Again, what is the batch? It, it has a subset of the total quantum metal thing. It has to be uh, maintained in in certain fixed units units of you know measure. And it's also you can put in purchase order tax. So any tax that you put in uh, will be carried over to. Um, your your PO, uh, it'll display or it'll appear in your PO when you actually create the PO uh, for this particular material. And MRP1, this is the material requirements planning tab. Uh, if this tab is maintained, this material is qualified to be managed by a materials uh, requirements controller for that particular plan. So he will use the MRP procedure to create requisitions uh, when this material is, is needed. Uh, in this case, the MRP procedure is MRP type PD. Uh, PD in the sense is again, it's a very generic MRP procedure, but you can change it to VB, which is a manual reorder point planning. Uh, you can also do an automatic reorder point planning. You can also do forecast based planning. So uh, the, this indicator indicates when this method has to be replenished uh, when it is out of stock. Okay, the rear point will tell you at what point of time you need to start procuring this material, you need to start replenishing this particular material. And here the minimum large size quantity, so when you are ordering this material, what is the minimum large size quantity you need to order? And here you'll specify what is the maximum large size that you need to um, order. It'll also, you can also put in the percentage, what is the scrap uh, percent for this particular material, what is the wastage of this particular uh, material when you actually put it into the stock. Um, you can also do lot sizes. Uh, EX in this case um, is actually lot, um, it is based on order quantity. Uh, you can also do a one day lot size, you can do a two day lot size and now in this case this is the whatever you ordered is the, your lot size. Uh, MRP control is a person who actually manages uh, this particular material. He will be responsible to run the MRP procedures uh, for this particular uh, uh, material. Uh, 
Um, you can also uh, create MRP areas if they do um, exist for this particular machine. In this place, in this place it's, they are not maintained. Uh, the other tabs are optional. They're not really um, required. Uh, it kind of says the procurement type. Uh, F, F is, this is metal is procured externally. Uh, then this is not made internally. So when this is, when you do order this material, you have to create a PO. Means you have to go outside uh, to procure for this material. If it is, if this is set as um, an E, then it's going to be, it, it will create a, a, a an order, uh, internal order um, for the other persons within the manufacturing to be, um, you know, made. Um, and you can also add in um, scheduling. Uh, if it is, if it has to be made in 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 house, how long does it take to produce these things? Um, and it also you can also get planned delivery. How long does it take the vendor to send you this particular material? All this information is used. Um, as a time delay to see when the requisition has to be created uh, depending on when you actually need it. Uh, so, uh, and also you can maintain the safety stock. So it means, you know, the system can, you cannot go below that particular safety, particular stock. Uh, so system, when you're, when you're running MRP, it's going to take all these different parameters into consideration and then uh, run the you know, MRP. Again, MRP is materials requirements planning, and it is the uh, based on all these parameters, the materials requirement controller um, will run the MRP cycle, and based on these parameters, system will create requisitions when this material is required, when this metal can be requisitioned, or purchased, or procured, uh, or manufactured internally, or purchased um, externally. And you can also you have to also maintain the accounting tab. Accounting tab is required to create the valuation. So now you have, you you purchased hundred pieces of these automatic gears. So how you want this to be accounted within your books? So if you are a public company, you are supposed to disclose the inventory that you're carrying on your books. So this will give the accounting people, the finance people, the the controller of the plan to see the levels of stock, what's the value of the stock that's in the system. So that's what it is, that's what um, uh, the uh, accounting tab does for you. In this case, they create a valuation class 7900. So this is valued as part of the semi-finished products. So valuation class is a, it's just, it's a grouping of all the materials. So, so they're not going to value each material individually. So this is valued at the semi-finished products level. So the value of this material will be included um, as part of the you know valuation class for this uh, valuation class, and this is this is the the valuation for this thing is is price control S means standard price. You can do S or V. Standard price is standard price. V is a moving average price. Means the price is fixed for the duration um, um, of this of the year or whenever you readjust the standard price. Um, so if you purchase uh, ten pieces, it's going to be uh, one five three three point eight eight times ten. That's going to be the value um, of this particular material. You can see we have twenty pieces in stock. So the value of this, but it's going to be twenty times one five three three eight eight. It's, it's it's going to be thirty thousand six hundred seventy seven. That's the total value of this particular material. So all the materials um, will be valued again at this valuation um, class um, level. Okay. Mm, and you can also re-estimate or re-adjust the standard price um, uh, whenever you choose, but typically it's done at the end of the you know, year. Um, you can also look at the plant stock tab. It will show you that you have 20 pieces in stock, and this is for the plant 1000, and the basic unit of measure is, uh, is uh, pieces, and this is for the, um, you know, it will show you the current period and also the, you know, the previous period uh, when this uh, material has been managed. If you do manage the, if you do have the warehouse management maintained, uh, you can also maintain the uh, the warehouse uh, information uh, in this tab. So the basic things are really the basic data one, the purchasing tab, the purchase order tax, MRP one, accounting one, and plan stock. Those are really the the basic um, minimum required. Again, MRP is not required. If this is not eligible for MRP, and if it is a very basic um, material, then you just do basic one and purchasing 
and accounting tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a material at this point, MM01, and I'm required to do a material type, which is going to be, I'm just going to do the same thing, which is going to be the semi-finished products here. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my material, this one, AM2401, and I'm going to put as mechanical engineering, okay. And I'm going to select views. I'm just not going to do a whole lot. So I'm just, I'm just going to do basic data. I'm just going to do purchasing. And I'm going to do MRP. And I'm just going to do the accounting tab. All the basic ones that are really required. And I'm going to click on It's going to ask me for the, um, you know, plant um, combination. I'm just going to click on that. It's going to copy it. Mitchell Gears uh, test demo from Verity and it copied the pieces, Mitchell Group and all this, click on entering the tab, enter, enter uh, and it's asking for the MRP type and I'm going to be picking uh, the manual reorder point VB and Mitchell controller is 001 and order size is EX and I'm just going to put 0 I'm just going to put a 10 uh, in this case and I'm going to, this is standard price, I'm just going to put this is $10 uh, and then it's valuation class, I think it's 7900 okay, and then I'm ready to save this thing and I have a material now called 2199 which is already created. So this is how you view the material, change the material and create the material. Um, hope you enjoyed the demo from Verity Solutions. Uh, please come back to the website and there is a lot of useful information uh, there also.